September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. There we fucking go. I forgot I'm going to be drinking heavily. I'm such an idiot. All right, let's go. Let's get into fucking faith. Hey, have some faith. Oh my god, whoa. I saw a star fall from heaven, and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. Shaitan. I should clarify what is even going on, right? I have heard of this game. I've, I watched Jesse Cox play this game, and I wanted to play this game myself. It looks fucking awesome. So, I have decided to play this game. I don't know what that fucking read. I feel like... Hold on. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Oh, it's a deer! Get out of here, deer. Fucking deer. Piece of shit deer. I need another shot, I think. What the fuck? Wait, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 Touched for the very first time. Okay, that is a that is a hell of an achievement to have with him when you're playing a Catholic priest. Yeah, I just wanted more liquor, and Satan himself had to come up and butt touch me. So I just stopped by the fucking side of the road, and I'm just like, ah, I'll just walk into the woods at night. Oh, okay. Okay then. Look at that fucking clown. Hasn't brushed his teeth since 1984. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. exactly, they kick you the fuck out like it's a bar. Uh, direction, turn right at... It should have been 666 Snake Meadow Hill Road. And go straight past the well. Why would anyone want to go to a fucking birthday party when someone's house is that scary? Yeah, just go, pack, go past the old well, over the rickety bridge... Past the crucified corpses, and then yeah, you'll find the mansion. It'll be fine. What if I didn't go straight ahead? What if I? What if I? What if I was a man going my own way? Ah, uh, okay, good. I'll worship your fucking corpse. Get out of here. Yeah, you do have the body of a bitch, motherfucker. Ah, Mr. Martin. It has taken longer than expected, registering the marker on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who is buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that cannot, that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Interesting. Today I noticed Amy's favorite uh, tree. Looks like it's I thought it gets a little hard to read the pixel. Uh, looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it, and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Holy fucking shit, dude. It's going to be really hard to read. This game has a lot of reading. I'm cooked. Uh, Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Why? Oh, 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 oh. Hello, 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 hello. 
You are scorned by God. You are scorned by God. God doesn't fucking love you. Get out of here. I don't even want to know what the fuck he was going to do to that deer. I'll worship you. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Alright, well this one's new. Oh. Public lecture by Carl James Osborne, Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. Oh. Okay. Hello. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a grave path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred, Father Allred, uh, seems to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. Okay. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the element of the right that may seem harsh to the layperson. Interesting. So, uh, one of the little Martys is, uh, not doing too hot. Oh, there was a white person. I'm getting upset. Worship this fucking dick in your mouth. How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that? How about you worship my big abnormally huge balls giving you African goggles? How about that, you fucking loser? I like how my fucking guy doesn't give a shit that there's like a fucking creature out in these woods. He doesn't give a fuck. He just, he just does his little crucifix and then... That's it. Look, he doesn't even care. He doesn't react. Get out of here. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. And I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. What the fuck is this? Get the fuck away from me. What is this? Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it got it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Ha. Huh. Hey. Okay. Hello. Hello. I think we just found our muse. Enter the house once again. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in her restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Oh? Now what are you going to give me? Oh. Okay. I don't like that. Purple girl. A small purple child. If, 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 if my little blue guy gets a reflection in the mirror, I'm giving this game a 10 out of 10. No shot. Oh my... Oh! Oh, get away from me. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, there's a ghost. There's a specter. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's awesome. I don't like that. I don't like that, though. I love it, but I don't like it. That's awesome. Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking cool. Oh shit, there is a child's drawing that I'm going to exercise. Let me guess, something horrible. Oh my fucking god, what is that? Okay, we got a member of the Mythic Dawn here being manhandled by an Enderman. Oh my god, there's a blood trail. Golly fucking, this is a big house. 
All right, we're going to investigate the small child's room as a priest. Oh, a vibrator on the top of the dresser. What the fuck is that? Like, legit, what the fuck is that? That is like a jackhammer. No fucking shot. That's a jackhammer. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East, as always, uh, because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Amish about it next time, since we have book club. Oh, wait. I'll ask Amish about it next time. We have book club. I'll ask Amish about it next time we have book club. Okay, yeah. God damn. She looks like she could be from over there. Kind of profiling, but whatever. Uh, Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Fucking piece of stuff. Entitled Zoomer. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. I can feel my muscles gyrating. Uh, I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me, like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called, her, I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. There was a fucking ghost hunt haunting the rubber ducky. A shaitan. Yeah, exactly. There's a shaitan in here. Wahlahi, I'm finished. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. I'm, I'm very drunk. I'm sorry. Uh, the house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem... She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day. Now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. The fact that it's dead fucking quiet. Oh. There's a little blood off to the left. Uh, he, oh! Dear Amy, thanks for writing. Uh, it really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks practice who practice Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and of African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel that scared, or scared like that. Uh, we invited him to the church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. I'm not even registering all these fucking mannequins. Fuck them. They're not going to move. They, they wouldn't fucking dare touch me. They wouldn't dare touch me. I'm the priest, motherfucker. I'm the one that does the touching. Oh. What does it say? Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the pir uh, the proceeding, the piracy, uh, of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to f take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh, fuck me. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the f Uh, oh. Wouldn't be the first.
first time I saw it. No, no, I'm gonna say it. Come face to face with Amy. Oh, what the fuck? What the f Fuck you. Fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck you. Get away from me. Don't touch me. Don't talk to me. Get away from 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 me. I don't want to fucking talk to you. I don't want to speak to you. I don't want to fucking deal with you. You're a disgusting freak. You're not loved by God. You are made in Satan's image. Every house. Every fucking room, asshole. Did you now, priest? Oh, God. Molly. The church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want uh, you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, blank. My superior, blank. Father, blank. With, blank. When I confronted her, she, blank. Managed to cut the power to the house and, blank. Her own parents, with their own, blank, blank, blank. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. I don't. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. All right. Well. Oh shit! It's about to get lit as fucking here. Look at them crucy fixes. Oh, God, she's wearing a wedding veil. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She died, priest. Oh god. Fuck you, demon. Fuck you, demon. What the fuck is that thing? Get away from me, I don't want to talk to you. Oh! 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 Damn, this shit's fucking hard. You can't kill me, bitch. You can't fucking kill me. I got God on my side. You can't kill me, bitch. I got God on my side. Boom! Instantly, I'm a fucking god. I'm literally a game. Oh my god! Alright, Rick, focus! I didn't even get him, I didn't even get him. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh my God. God, get the fuck away from me. I don't want to talk to you. Fuck you. And out the window she goes. Ooh. Kill her. I, okay, okay. I'll fucking blow her head off. You think I give a shit? She's some fucking demon. She needs to die. I've got this massive cigarette with me. I've got this massive Newport. I'm ready to smoke a bitch. Oh, there she is. Speaking of the bitch that I was going to smoke. Right up against her, the back of her head. Oh, look at that! Look at the pixel placement. That's perfect. That that was designed. 
just blow her fucking head off. It is what it is. Okay, I guess that's it. I mean, fuck it. Let's just go. Let's bounce. Let's get the fuck out of here. Just brutally murder some chick and then leave. Oh my fucking god. One of five? Murderer. Reach any ending of chapter one. A New York man, oh Jesus, is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer, the officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When, uh, what was it? Oh, questioned. I thought it was a question. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've willed her. I've killed her. Oh my god, the same Luca. Uh, according to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Uh, da, 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 da. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a, brief, after a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, st stomach, gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after the Catholic after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. Oh god, I'm gonna have to fucking I'm gonna have to see the other endings, won't I? Oh, daddy's gonna have to see the other endings. Okay, so I could kill her. I could just leave. Which does not seem like the right thing to do, but it does seem like a thing to do, so I'm gonna do that. With my massive fucking 12 foot long Newport, just leave. What if I killed the deer? Look me in the eyes. Oh. Okay. Alright, I guess it's time to leave now. Okay. I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Whoa! The Hunter. Oh, unidentified body dies covered in your car wreck. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along uh, a road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident near Snake and Meadow Hill Road. Uh, the driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators report this was probably the work of a... Of, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, that was coyotes. That was totally coyotes that did all that. Uh, police also noted part that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer... Uh, were found in the trunk of the car. I took the fucking deer with me? From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears uh, the victim of the accident was only able to carry back 25 pounds back to the car. 
Ooh. Whoa! Ooh, ooh. Fucking massacre! My cock is in my will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Name drop. I can only have faith the unholy trinity that I did the right thing. Faith. I'm gonna... I'm gonna use that ending. I'm gonna use that ending. That's gonna be my canon ending. Police animal experts investigate Chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Mm -hmm. The Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of some the remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, uh, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found though they com commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Children, huh? Interdasting. Alright, that was chapter one.